Thank you for joining us for Heron High School's Virtual Honors Night. I am Jeff Johnson, Principal of Heron High School. I am very proud of our students, and even in the year of COVID, our students and teachers have been very busy. I hope you enjoy seeing all of the accomplishments that our students have had over the past year. I'm Rachel Bonifield, and with the help of Mr. Pappenfuss, I am the student government sponsor at Heron High School. Student government is a group of 52 students who enjoy being involved and helpful. The administration often comes to us for when they look for student input or there are decisions that need to be made. Since this year has been a little untraditional, the students have actually come to us and said, what can we do to help? What can we do next? We want to be involved. These students really do enjoy the hustle and bustle of high school. While our normal activities are usually a lot longer of a list, we successfully planned two spirit weeks, organized a change drive fundraiser that resulted in a donation to the American Cancer Society of over $1,000. We made a donation to, at Christmas time to students in need, and we helped create the outdoor dining space at Heron High School. The senior members of student government will be wearing an orange and black cord at graduation to recognize their hard work the last few years. These 52 students bring the excitement to Heron High School even in the strangest of years. HHS really is lucky to have them. I would like to recognize the Executive Council and the class officers. For the Executive Council, we have President Keaton Rosado, Vice President Olivia Dean, Parliamentarian and Junior Class Secretary Taylor Cornelius, Secretary Bree Nessler, and Project Chair Jaden Day. From the Senior Class, we have President Kelsey King, Vice President Mitchell Brandon, and Secretary Macy Parks. Junior class vice president is Reagan Deaton, and secretary is Presley Carnes. From the sophomore class, we have President Jeremiah Stem, Vice President Lauren McCluskey, and secretary Cameron Champion. Finally, we have the freshman class, President Elliot Smith, Vice President Nevaeh Thetford, and secretary Jersey Summers. Mr. Pappenfuss and I appreciate all the hard work that these students contribute each year. Good evening. This evening I would like to thank some special students for their dedication in learning French, the French language through unprecedented challenges presented by COVID last year and this. It has not been easy and they have persevered and risen to the occasion to read French novels and study the French culture often on their own as we only met two days per week in person this year. They were able to accomplish on their own what other students have done with the support of a group in class. I hope that you will continue to seek out what is challenging to make your lives interesting, and I look forward to following your life journeys. For French 3, the high honor students have shown exemplary work with an A average for the past three years. Kim Baradas, Taylor Cornelius, Dylan Hall, and Lucas McIntyre, along with Austin Shadowins. Congratulations, students. I would also like to mention something special about Austin Shadowins. He would be in French 4 this year, but he did something extraordinary last year. I'd like to recognize him as being the first student I have taught who's gone abroad to study for a year. He studied French and Arabic during his nine month stay in the Middle Eastern country of Jordan. Congratulations on achieving such a grand goal in life. Honors, uh, French three honors, this student has shown exemplary work and maintained an AB average for the past three years. Congratulations go to Hayden Cole. For the French four high honor students who have shown an A average for the past four years, no easy thing to accomplish is Sydney Sarver, Delaney LaCroix, and Kelby Weber. For French four honors, students who have shown an AB average for the past four years, Aaron Elliott and Christina Yost. Thank you students forever. I will keep you in my memory and in my heart and in my prayers. And I wish you the very best. Stay in touch. Au revoir. Buenos dias estudiante, Senor Estes here. I would like to commemorate today in honors of the students who have earned an A in Spanish one all year long. In both of our semesters, they came in to class, almost to every class, and gave me their hardest effort as well as their uh, greatest amount of motivation. I feel like that this particular group of kids this year have been very strong and they have studied a lot 
outside of class considering with this pandemic year we've not been able to have a normal Spanish one year. Uh, it really took a lot more discipline. So this is one of those years that is very important to to acknowledge these kids for, for their Spanish study because it's been harder than a typical year. So let's begin with congratulating with an A, Nathan Luciano Ava, Camilla Marina Ashmore. We have Coleman Camilo Bailey, Caitlin Araceli Bailey, John Bosco Gray, Libby Trini Brandon, Cameron Mercedes Champion, we have Mason Mateo Cole, Connor Facundo Doughty, Alexandria Viviana Estes, Madeline Isabella Griffin, Delaney Julieta Harrison, Elena Jacinia Jarvis, Wyatt Emiliano Curley, Katie Rosa Meadows, Julian Jaime Mais, Nishanart Anna Pitaro, and Jacob Elias Rush, Emma Lorena Shelton, Catherine Carmen Weaver, Keegan Pancho Weber, and to finish the list, Caleb Leandro Jost. These kids are so incredible and they have been such a joy in class this year. I know that I have many others who could have made this list just with a little bit more work and I was really proud of a, a number beyond this list with their efforts this year. But these kids deserve to be honored for that A that they have worked so hard for to get this year. So I am so proud of all of you and I hope that you want to continue to um, become a Spanish speaker and that is your ultimate goal is to work with the Spanish language and in your future career we would help so keep up the good work and buen trabajo and I will let I'll see you guys in class all right adios Hello, I'm Janae Simmons, Heron High School Chorus Director. I would like to give a shout out first of all to all of our music students who participated in the IHSA Solo and Ensemble Contest. They either did a vocal or instrumental solo or ensemble or sometimes both, sometimes three or four things. And those students are Alyssa Charlotte, Alyssa Stallman, Ashton Pierce, Cameron Jeters, Carson Berry, Elizabeth Waybright, Ella Reynolds, Faith Hacker, Kylie Watkins, Maddie Geralds, Maddie Wright, McKay Russell, Mitchell Brandon, Noah Blake, Riley Patrick, Austin Shadowen, and Tyler Yeager. They all did a great job. Um, videotaping their performances and they had to send them in to a judge. Now each of these judges sees 30, 40, 50 performances and each judge picks one performance that they thought was the very best thing that they saw. And one of our students won this Best of Day award and that was awarded to Noah Blake for his vocal solo performance. So congratulations Noah Blake on achieving that. And then now I would like to um, tell you about the National School Choral Award. It is the highest honor for a choral student in high school. It is given in recognition of merit, of outstanding contributions to the success of the school vocal program, and of an unusual degree of loyalty, cooperation, and high qualities of conduct. The 2021 National School Choral Award for Heron High School is being presented to Noah Blake. Congratulations, Noah. Noah has been a faithful member of the Early Bird Chorus for four years. He got up early for four years. <laughs> he participated in the musical every year. He participated in IHSA solo and ensemble contest every year. He was a part of the SIU Honor Choirs. And all four years, he prepared, auditioned, and was accepted into the district chorus. And even better, 
the, his junior and senior year, he was also a member of the All State Chorus. You can only be eligible when you're a junior or senior, and he made it both years. It's quite an accomplishment. So congratulations, Noah Blake. May you always keep a song in your heart. Hi, my name is JT Lewis, and I'm the band director at Heron High School. And these are the Honors Night Awards for the 2021 school year for the Heron High School Band Program. The first award is for the ILMEA District 6 Band Member. ILMEA stands for Illinois Music Education Association. ILMEA District 6 includes every school in Southern Illinois south of Interstate 70 and also includes the Metro East area no matter the size of the school. Students were chosen for the band by a strict audition process that took place virtually. If a student was selected for the band, they also participated in a band festival in November, which also took place virtually. This year for Heron High School, the ILMEA District 6 band member was Ainsley Farmer. The next award to give out is the Heron Women's Club Mr. and Miss Music Award. The Heron Women's Club awards this honor to two senior music students annually. The recipients of this award must be accomplished musicians who are active in many musical groups, both at HHS and in the community. This year we have very two worthy recipients of the award. The female recipient is Miss Faith Hacker, and the male recipient is Mitchell Brandon, who's gonna study music education at SIU this fall. The last award I'd like to give out is the John Philip Sousa Award, which is kind of like the Senior Band Award for the Heron High School Band Program. Since its inauguration in 1954, thousands of U.S. high schools have presented the John Philip Sousa Band Award to their most outstanding band student. The award recognizes those young musicians displaying superior musicianship, leadership, dependability, loyalty, cooperation, and other qualities of conduct, which school instrumental music programs strive to impart. The Sousa Award is a top nationwide prize in the school band field, both in prestige and appearance. It promotes the entire band by encouraging musicians to greater achievement and enthusiasm while providing an inspiring stimulus for potential instrumentalists. This year, I'm proud to give the John Philip Sousa Award to Miss Ainsley Farmer. Hello, my name is Jamie Nagrodsky, a math teacher at Heron High School, and I am the proud coach of our ACES team. ACES is one of our academic teams at the high school and I am privileged to tell you how they did this year. Um, everything was done virtually for ACES and we competed in the regional and at the regional competition, I am happy to say that the following people won awards. In computer science, Fox Connor, a sophomore, placed third. In engineering graphics, otherwise known as drafting, Kelby Web Weber placed third. In English, Cameron Champion, a sophomore, placed first out of everyone taking the English test. In Mathematics, Kelsey King, a senior, placed second. And in Physics, Ainsley Farmer, a senior, placed first. And Jalen Blake and Kelby Weber, both seniors, placed third in Physics. Um, from Regionals, because of our high scores, we moved on to sectionals. In sectional competition, which is uh, was held at Southern Illinois University, Kelsey King placed third in mathematics, and Ainsley Farmer placed second in physics, and Madison uh, Varner placed in biology. Um, that kind of concluded the year for us for ACES competition. And I would like to um, conclude this by telling you who the fantastic people were that we had on our ACES team. Seniors, Kelsey King, Jalen Blake, Jaden Lake, Emily Spiller, Christina Yost, Ainsley Farmer, Austin Shadowin, Kelby Weber. Our juniors were Taylor Cornelius, Madison Varner, Lucas McIntyre, and Logan Nitchie. And our sophomores were Ella Reynolds, Cameron Champion, and Fox Connor. Congratulations to these kids on their hard work and how well they did in regional and sectional. We will definitely miss this large group of seniors. Hello, I'm Kyle Harlow, and I'm the coach of Heron High School's varsity and junior varsity scholastic bowl teams. 
As with almost all of our athletic and academic competitions, Glassy Bowl looked a little bit different this year, but we were creative and adaptive to the COVID-19 protocols, and in turn, we enjoyed a memorable and I think successful season. One of those adaptations was the format of our matches. We traded our in-person contests for a more virtual experience, and we replaced our handheld buzzers with the raise hand feature in Google Meet. Our junior varsity team took those changes in stride. They finished third place in the Ohio division of the River to River, but fourth overall in the whole conference. The outstanding players include these freshmen, Nathan Abba, Wyatt Jones, Katie Weaver, Alex Estes, Katie Dunphy, and Owen Smith. The JV sophomores include Cameron Champion, Dylan Felty, Charity Howell, Joe Miller, Amaris Williams, and our captain, Tyler Worthen, who finished the year with 55 toss-ups answered, good for third overall of all the players in the conference. Our varsity team was also very competitive in the new look matches. They too finished third in the Ohio division of River to River and fifth overall in the conference. Varsity also played our only in-person matches of the season, making it to the semifinal round of the IHSA regional tournament before finding their first defeat. The juniors on the varsity squad include Graham Reynolds, Keegan St. Peter, and Alyssa Stallman. And our seniors are Abby Smith, Sydney Sarver, Austin Shadowin, who finished 10th overall in the conference with 45 toss-ups answered, Elizabeth Waybright, McKay Russell, and our captain, Kelsey King. Congratulations to every HHS Scholastic Bowl player and their families. The time and dedication that you devote to this competition is a testament to your character and school spirit. Despite your success, I do look forward to a return to lunch practices, bus rides, late dinners, and more normal matches next year. And to my seniors, I wish you all the good fortune that you deserve in college. Hello, my name is Jeannie Nagrodsky, and I'm a math teacher at Heron High School, and I'm very proud um, during this virtual honors night to honor our math team. Um, our math team typically goes to four contests followed by the state math contest that we have qualified for for quite a few years. This year looked a little bit different with COVID-19 rearing its ugly head and we only had two contests that we um, got to participate in. In the fall we participated in the SWIC Fall Conference which is four contests held every other Monday um, and this year it was done virtually at our high school. In the first contest, the following people placed. Nathan Abba, Madison Labatt, and John Braid from the freshman class, Ella Reynolds and Fox Connor from the sophomore class, Logan Nitchie and Taylor Cornelius from the junior class, and Kelsey King and Jaden Lake from the senior class. In the second contest, Nathan Abba, Madison Labatt, and Sophia Camarado placed, in the freshman division, Ella Reynolds placed in the sophomore, Logan Nitchie and Maddie Gerald placed in the junior division, and Kelsey King and Jaden Lake placed in the senior division. The third contest um, saw Nathan Abba, Sophia Camarado, and John Braid all placing again, Cameron Champion and Fox Connor placed in the sophomore division, Logan Nitchie uh, Maddie Gerald and Patient Dorner all placed in the junior division and Kelsey King placed in the senior division. At the fourth and final contest, John Braid um, placed for the freshmen, Cameron Champion for the sophomores and Ella Reynolds for the sophomores, Logan Nitchie and Taylor Cornelius for the juniors, and Kelsey King and Jaden Lake for the seniors. Um, they did not give an overall winner this year in the SWIC contest due to um, the constraints put upon the competitions. Um, a, a big shout out to these kids for how well they did. Um, Want to give extra special shout out to Logan Nitchie and Kelsey King. They were kind of our MVPs of the fall SWIC season with um, the places that they placed, uh, Logan placed either first or second out of all the juniors, and Kelsey um, did likewise in three out of the four contests. But congratulations to all the kids on their um, uh, good showing at the SWIC contest. Okay, 
The other contest that we had this past year in math team was the ICTM regional, and um, it was done virtually also. And um, for many, many years in a row now, we have um, worked very hard to make sure that we defend our regional crown that we've won. Uh, uh, I don't know how many years in a row we've won it, but quite a few. And so that was our goal again this year, whether it was virtual or not, we wanted to work hard and make sure that we achieved that goal. And we did. Our Heron High School is also the uh, Region 7 team, um, ICTM Regional Champ. Um, I'd like to acknowledge at this time the people who won individual awards. And um, in the freshman division, they gave the top three awards and all three came from Heron High School. Bailey Coleman placed third, John Braid placed second, and Nathan Abba was the top freshman in our math regional. In the sophomore division, we also took the top three places. Jeremiah Stem placed third, Ella Reynolds placed second, and Cameron Champion was the top sophomore in the regional competition. In the junior division, um, we took two out of the top four spots, and that was Logan Nietzsche and Patient Dorner, both tied for the top junior score in um, our regional. So they were the junior champions. And then in the senior division, Jaden Lake placed third, Kelsey King placed second, and our top senior in our um, region was also a Heron High School math team member, and that was Mason Clough. Congratulations to the individual winners. Our Algebra One team, Geometry team, Algebra Two, and Pre-Calculus team all placed first along with our freshman, sophomore, eight person, our calculator team that were the two teams that placed first, and our junior, senior, eight person team placed second. All a very fine showing. So to um, end the, um, the season, we um, would like to at this time acknowledge, uh, Mr. Harlow and I appreciate all the hard work that the kids have done uh, this year and stuck with everything in such a hard and difficult year to be able to do your learning and come here and try to practice to show up for the um, virtual uh, competitions and we do appreciate your hard work and we look forward to having a more normal ne uh, year next year with um, dedicated practices and um, fantastic bus rides to competitions everywhere. At this time, I would like to end this um, praise of the math team by telling you who is our math team. Freshmen, Nathan Abba, John Bray, Coleman Bailey, Sophia Camarado, Madison Labatt, Alex Estes, Katie Weaver, Katie Dunphy, Libby Brandon, Logan Clough, Andrew Workman, Keegan Weber, Michael Cagle, and Nevaeh Thetford. Our sophomores, Fox Connor, Cameron Champion, Lauren McCluskey, Ella Reynolds, Jeremiah Stem, Cameron Christ, and Brady Qualia. Our juniors, Taylor Cornelius, Reagan Deaton, Logan Nietzsche, Madison Varner, Patient Dorner, Maddie Geralds, Jake Cochin, and Alyssa Stallman. And last but certainly not least, our senior crew. A crew that are very near and dear to our heart, and we could only wish that it would have been a more normal year, that we could have had more time to spend with them, and um, we will truly miss them when they graduate um, in a couple of days. Um, good luck in all your future endeavors. Our seniors, Carson Berry, Mason Clough, Olivia Dean, Ainsley Farmer, Kelsey King, Jaden Lake, Jalen Nickens, Emily Spiller, Kelby Weber, and Christina Yost. Thank you and congratulations, math team. Hi, everybody. I'm Billy. Hi, everybody. And I'm Robert. And you know what? Hi, Robert. Hi, everybody. You know, I saw a really, really, really good play this year. You did? What was that play called? The play was called Mirror, Mirror. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I saw that play too. It was.
was so good and so funny. Yeah, it was hilarious. Those kids did a really good job adapting to creating a play during a pandemic. It was really something kind of different and everybody learned a lot and man, they did a good job. Yeah, they did an awesome job, especially, I mean, they all did, but two of them really did an awesome job. They went above and beyond. Oh, are you talking about the seniors who are gonna win this year's Willem? That's right, Billy. I'm talking about those seniors, those amazing, terrific seniors. I think we should hand it off to Mrs. Pullum and Miss Wilson so they can announce who are the winners of this year's Willem Award. Yay! Yay! Oh my, thank you, Billy. Thank you, good job. Thank you, Robert. Um, good to see you again. We'll see you later. <laughs> All right, every year, Miss Pullum, who is my co-drama sponsor, and I try to recognize two seniors who have gone above and beyond the call of duty in all things theater arts. These are kids who are leaders in our club, who are actors, who help behind the scenes, who are reliable, who are talented, who are willing to go outside of the box and try new things. They're comfortable in their skin and they really, really do a good job in all things drama club related. Um, so this year's recipients are no exception to that. Ms. Fulham, would you like to uh, announce who the winners of this year's Willem Award are? Yes, the winners for this year's Willem Award are seniors Mitchell Brandon and Faith Hacker. Yay! Good job, you guys. We're really proud of you and we're gonna miss you and just know that we recognize all you've done and we just really appreciate you. Yeah, so you're both um, beautiful, wonderful, talented, amazing young, young students who are going to go and change the world and do so many good things. Yeah, so thank you. Thank you for all your hard work. We love you. Congratulations, bye. bye. Congratulations. Future Business Leaders of America is the largest career student organization in the world. FBLA members have the opportunity to participate in a number of personal and chapter related events, which include regional, state, and national level conferences. While we were unable to attend events in person again this year, we did compete virtually for our Southern Area Conference. Placing first for Heron were Patience Dorner in Advertising, Taylor Cornelius in Business Law, Alyssa Stallman, Personal Finance, Lauren McCluskey in Introduction to Parliamentary Procedure, Maddie Geralds in Journalism, and Austin Shadowin in Organizational Leadership. Placing second were Madison Varner in Business Communication, Logan Nitsche in Entrepreneurship, Alyssa Charlotte in Parliamentary Procedures, the team of Reese Billingsley, Fox Connor, and Gavin Estes in Sports Management, and Presley Carnes in Word Processing. Placing third in their respective events were Bailey Hudgens in Healthcare Management, Keegan Weber in Introduction to Business Procedures, Kelsey Bigler in Introduction to Parley Procedures, Julia Moore in Organizational Leadership, Braden Burris, Agribusiness, Christina Yost, Business Calculations, Brenna Goosewell, Business Communication, Kelsey King in Economics, and Libby Brandon, Spreadsheet Design, and Carmen Mendez in Supply Chain Management. Congratulations to all of you. I would also like to recognize the seniors who have been four-year members of FBLA. They are Bailey Hudgens, Kelsey Jurek, Kelsey King, Keaton Rosado, Abby Smith, and Kelby Weber. I've appreciated every one of you over the last four years for your participation and dedication to the organization. Finally, a shout out to this year's officers, Kelsey Jurek, Kelby Weber, Brenna Goosewell, Billy Braid, Lance Mattingly, Jalen Blake, and Southern Area Parliamentarian Ainsley Farmer for all the hard work that they've put into planning and implementing the few things we were able to do this year. We had a community community cleanup project and a very successful fundraiser for a fellow student. Thank you all so much for all of your hard work and dedication. I will miss you, but look forward to seeing all the great things your futures have in store for you.
Good evening. I'm Miss Getting. I'm the teacher of the journalism program here at HHS. This program consists of basic journalism education and the production of two major publications, the Hair Night Yearbook and the Tiger Toddler newspaper. This class also competes at state and local level competitions. This year, we were only able to compete at the IHSA state competition series. Six of our journalism students competed at the IHSA sectional competition and in, they placed in nine events. Three of those events advanced to state. Abby Smith placed second in yearbook theme development and advanced to state. Kelsey King placed third in copy editing and advanced to state. She also placed sixth in editorial cartooning. Alyssa Charlotte placed second in photography and advanced to state. Noelle Koch placed fourth in feature writing and sixth in review writing. Shania Mayborn placed sixth in news writing and yearbook copywriting. And Aubrey Williamson placed sixth in yearbook caption writing. Abby, Kelsey, and Alyssa competed at the IHSA state competition the following weekend. This was also the morning of their prom. At this competition, Abby Smith placed third in state for yearbook theme development, and Alyssa placed fifth in state for photography. This is a massive accomplishment. We are a very small school on the scale of um, the journals and programs that are competing at the IHSA state level competitions. So to go to place, to go to, just to be able to go to state itself is a massive undertaking and I'm so proud of them. And then to take and place at state, um, I'm beyond proud of these girls. Okay, so on top of competing and doing really well, uh, this was not a normal year and an entire year of sports and school activities were shoved and completed into a three month time frame which made it very difficult for four in-person journalism and students and three remote journalism students to capture everything. Um, but these seven journalists took that challenge, they rose to the challenge, and they did everything that they could um, to meet that challenge. I wanna honor these students. Our sophomore is Hakeem Kirk. Our juniors are Alyssa Charlotte, Noel Koch, Shania Mayborn, and Aubrey Williamson, and to our seniors. These girls will be wearing a silver cord at graduation to honor their accomplishments as journalism students for two major publications for the past two years. Kelsey King is the copy editor to both publications, as well as the head editor of the Tiger Tadler newspaper. And Abby Smith, is my yearbook editor slash my go-to help me get this done girl. Uh, she has been tasked with a lot of stressful things in the past year and she has risen to the occasion multiple times. Ladies, our classroom is not going to be the same without you two. Abby, I will miss having such a hardworking, problem-solving, driven individual leading the newsroom. The classroom will miss your hilarious stories and your funny giggles. Hashtag RIP AS plus LM for L. You are destined for big things. You are capable of big things. And I am beyond proud of you. Kelsey, I will miss your antics and your meticulous attention to detail. The classroom owl will miss you. I love your independent nature, your ability to persevere and I know your future will hold only success because you will not allow yourself to fail. Go after your greatest aspirations, girls. Do it without fear. You both are beyond capable. And I am blessed to have been able to spend the last two years getting to know each of you. May you both take the hours you spend as a high school journalist with you throughout your life. And remember, no matter how old you are, no matter how far you go, I will always be an ear to listen and someone who cares. And also remember, never leave the wax warmer on over the weekend. So for the record, I will miss you my 2021 Tiger Journalums. Hi, Miss Getting again. I am here to announce the Mr. and Miss HHS of 2021. 
Here in High School and the Here Not Yearbook wish to congratulate all of the 2021 Mr. and Miss HHS candidates. This nomination is given to five girls and five boys within the top 25% of the senior class that not only show exemplary academic achievement, but have also shown their community and the student body kindness, compassion, and a willingness to go above and beyond for their town and their school. These 10 candidates are chosen by a panel of experienced teachers from each academic department. The HHS students then choose one girl and one boy they feel exceeds in school pride, community leadership, and academic achievements. The 2020-2021 candidates are as follows. The Miss HHS candidates are Miss Olivia Dean, Miss Bailey Hudgens, Miss Kelsey Jurek, Miss Emily Spiller, and Miss Kelby Weber. The Mr. HHS candidates are Mr. Noah Blake, Mr. Billy Braid, Mr. Mason Clough, Mr. Lance Mattingly, and Mr. Otto Austin Shadowin. Each student is greatly respected by both their teachers and their peers. So to all of you, I say, may the hard work ethic you have demonstrated throughout your high school career take you beyond your wildest goals in the future. And without further ado, and I'm gonna get to the point quickly, I will now announce your 2021 Mr. and Miss HHS. Congratulations goes out to your new 2021 Mr. HHS, Billy Braid. And congratulations also goes out to your new 2021 Miss HHS, Olivia Dean. Congratulations, you both deserve it.